Distorted View Daily proudly presents the power of hypnosis. This video is about loose bowels. There are different kinds of loose bowels, but they're all very uncomfortable. Now, what I'm going to do is have your subconscious mind bring up the name or the face of the person who possibly is the most involved in your reacting by having loose bowels. When I sound the buzzer and say, remember, you will have a flash of memory immediately after the buzzer sounds of a person most involved in your loose bowel problem. It will come as a flash and it will be persistent if it's genuine. I don't want you to dig for it. Remember, remember, remember. February 6, 2019, coming up on the program today, sucking juices out of a cum-drenched stocking, plus decades worth of dick cheese buildup, faking a heart attack to avoid a restocking fee, and period blood emojis are coming to a phone near you. All coming up today. If you don't suck a dick, do you suck a dick? A lot of uh, hot liquid poo just went out all at once. Suck my fucking asshole. That's it. Stuff the fucking shit box. Yeah, I would love the Raper Rooster. It's the Distorted View Show with Tim Henson. All right. Hey, freaks. Tim Henson back here with you for your Wednesday episode of Distorted View Daily. Got a good one. It's been a while since we've uh, featured some really bad slash porny anime, and I think we should rectify that today. Now, most of you know uh, X-rated anime is typically called hentai. And it's all in Japanese. They have Japanese voice actors do it. But just like with the popular mainstream G-rated anime, the ones that come over to the United States, they are then redubbed into English. This is the part that fascinates. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fascinates. I've, I've fucked it up twice today. That's going to be my new podcast. Fascination with Tim Henson. I just talk about how my ever-growing waistline is mesmerizing. What I eat to attain such incredible weights. You know, stuff like that. Fascination coming soon. Anyway, back to my point. This is what fascinates me. These poor voice actors are trying to break into the business. They have reasonable goals. Yeah, I would love to be the voiceover announcer for a Chex Mix commercial. I would love to voice a character on Looney Tunes. That's all these people want. Instead, they're scraping by, slumming it, making sex noises, and saying filthy things for Japanese commercials brought over here. All right, so uh, today's cartoon, or hentai, is uh, Too Hot for Teacher, or Soju Tashi Nasada sa Sadism. What? I don't know why I even attempted to pronounce that. I have the English translation right there. Too hot for teacher. All right, so we start with a teacher having sex with one of his students. Uh, uh, sensei, don't move. Uh, uh, uh. It, it feels so good and tingly. Uh, Why, uh, teacher, what have we here? Well, it looks like someone spotted the two. They weren't even hiding. She's like f riding him in the halls of, of the school. So far, I feel the worst for the male teacher because all, the only line he's had so far is, uh, You're not getting word from one of your own students, are you, teacher? How shameful. You guys did this. You set me up. 
It's not clear why she set him up. Uh, the girl, though, who's riding the teacher's dick is enjoying it. Uh, uh, Your dick is starting to twitch, uh, teacher. Uh, uh, is it because you're ready to uh, ejaculate? Uh, oh, yep, oh, wow. that's why. You still tingling, bitch? Oh, it looks like you've still got a lot of energy. Yeah, she apparently drugged him. That's why he's got this boner that won't go away. Also, I would like to revise a previous statement. Um, you know who I really feel sorry for? Even more so than the voice actors. The Foley artists who have to come up with these sounds. That was quite a magnificent ejaculation. It was like a wave, a crashing... Tsunami of cum. <laughs> Bet you like they took a hammer to a watermelon or something to create that. I'm going to have to get this on DVD and see if there's a behind the scenes featurette. All right. So uh, the bitchy woman has the antidote, but uh, she spills it all over uh, her stockings and uh, the student's stockings. <laughs> Look at that. It splashed all over our nice legs. Not to worry. Why don't you suck your precious antidote from our drenched stockings? There's also another girl there. So there's three women. <laughs> the antidote is all over their stockings. And so he gets to work slurping. <laughs> Again, great sound effects. You look just like a suckling baby. The texture of her wet tights over my <laughs> tongue. It's getting me hard again. I can't help it. This damn antidote. I'm not going to get enough of that antidote. Oh, I need to suck harder. That's always been a personal motto for me. When in doubt, suck harder. I need to suck every last drop out of these skin-tight stockings. Gross. I need to get in between their toes. Under no. their nails. No! My tongue has to explore everything. Do you know what lives underneath toenails? Fungus, crust, crud, food particles, shit. I feel the warmth of their silky smooth skin through the layer of stocking. <laughs> How does it taste? Do the feet of your beloved students meet with your approval? Teacher, you're like a little baby. How young is that girl? That's the one he was fucking at the beginning uh, of this video. You know, I don't want to know the answer to that. This antidote should be calming me down, but I'm getting turned on and erect again. Boner. Oh my, it seems like you're not only a failure as a teacher, but as a man too. You. You're basically nothing more than a dog in heat. It's actually pathetic watching you try to mark your feet. I'd be like, yeah, and you're the bitch I'm about to mount. Students with your pre-com. Is there anything more pitiful than this? Look, I'm taunting and teasing your swollen cock with my legs. Go ahead, wet your student with that disgraceful cum you've stored up for so long. Isn't that nice? That I did not take long, did it? Especially considering he just banged another girl like five minutes ago. <laughs> Isn't that nice? I can feel the warm, <sighs> sticky cum from teacher's naughty dick dripping and seeping into my tights. Yeah, you're going to need to get those cleaned. What a pitiful expression you're wearing. You still haven't had enough, am I right? Go on now. You have two fresh, quivering pussies ripe for the fucking. Take your pick. Well, things are really heating up in this classroom. Right in front of me. Yeah. My students' anxious pussies. They're practically begging <laughs> for your dick. <laughs> your beloved students are... Why is he blushing? He already fucked one of them. He just came again. They all saw his rock-hard boner. ...just for you, teacher. They're waiting for your stiff dick. <laughs> you can't just ignore them like that. Can you, teacher? Uh -huh. That juicy noise you heard was uh, her playing with her pussy lips. Mm. What follows is a threesome, maybe a foursome. I promise to give you both equal time fucking. This Fujita's pussy is gripping me so tightly, like it doesn't want to let go. Every time I move, I feel like I'm going to dislocate my hip. Feels like I just put my dick into a vice. Teacher. I don't think sex is supposed to feel like that. Come inside me soon. 
Okay, that's not fair. He has to come inside me too. Now these are some problems I would like to have. People fighting over who I get to come inside. I want his jizz in me. No, he's got a spunk in my twat. Hopefully the ladies I'm fucking don't sound quite like that. It's ma'am. It is ma'am. Yeah, she would be the one I get to fuck. Ma'am. Once again, ma'am. I feel so bad for trans people. I bet you a, lo a lot of them saw this video and was like, oh, fuck, this is not going to be good for us. This is now the face of the trans movement. It is ma'am. All right, let's move on. I have got a an old lady on the side of the road. I think she's racist. What? Shit, are you anyway? Uh, it's none of your business. Get off your goddamn phone. No, man. Get off your goddamn phone. Are you my mom? Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Who in the shit are you? I kind of like this old lady. She's a tough old broad. Why don't you go back to Africa where you belong? Oh, oh wow. Get the shit off her. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm a nice guy. Who in the hell are you? Doesn't matter. Get the shit off my tree! Bruh, this is public this is public property. This, this belongs to property. the city. This belongs to the city. Get the shit off here! Yo, get the fuck out of here. Get out of here! Yeah, in case you were wondering, he's on the street, just sort of like parked. I don't know if he's on the side or what. How dare you? How dare him? How dare you? This is just like an old person, right? She starts shit and then lays the blame entirely on him. She came out guns ablazing. WHO THE SHIT ARE YOU?! <laughs> That's how she greeted him. Everything is shit. What the shit are you doing?! How the shit is this happening?! Where the shit am I?! When the shit did I defecate in my pants?! Shit your goddamn mouth! No! Yo, shit! Shit is a good swear word. What did I do to you? Shut up! <laughs> you threatening me? You shut up! You shut up. Nobody's threatening you. You're polluting my street? I'm polluting your street. You should just I'm go back into you. your house. You're polluting your street? Since when did the street belong to you? You done? You oh, done? Granny giving a slow clap. That's some shade right you're there. You're polluting my street. I don't She's saying you're polluting my street. I don't know. It took me a couple times to understand that because the guy's car is running. I guess that's her big complaint here. Fuck. Goddamn shit. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> You know who this reminds me of, of course, is the Sitwell Grandma, or Stillwell Grandma. For those of you that don't remember, uh, that was a series of prank phone calls to an old lady. But the prank caller would just play clips of that same old lady. So the, the old lady would be basically talking to herself. She never caught on that she, she was talking to herself. She just thought it was another old lady who was wasting her time. Here's the call. Again, you're only going to hear one voice. It's going, but it's it's the Stillwell grandma talking to herself. Hello? Oh, it's you again. Yes, I'm oh, Nickel. You damn little bitch. Yeah, hey, no. That's not me again. Are you dirty little no damn no shit ass? You mouth all wrong and I said you are. Yeah, it's you again. Oh, it's you again, you damn bitch. How about I told you time after time to stay off the phone? You dirty little damn rotten nothing say. a lot of screaming uh real quick before we talk about a lot of screaming oh no i've got another clip here for you where that's uh pretty much what's going on we are now at an at&t store where a 50 year old man is trying desperately to return his iphone and not incur a uh, restocking fee the employees are like look you can return the iphone but there's going to be this fee Right. If there's something wrong with your phone, like you're claiming, you got to go to Apple and d deal with it there. It's on your receipt. Let's see how the 50 year old man responds to that news. You asshole. Uh huh. You know some people have you, you illnesses. Me, you see oh, what happens. Please. I am very upset. Too. The fucking phone battery is dead after four hours. Two percent. So this guy's calling the cops. You know, he says the phone's defective. He also has a medical condition. 
The wife says she doesn't feel safe. So it's, you know, it's escalating quickly here. That's okay. We're calling the cops. We're going to press charges on you. Apparently this guy has already gotten physical with some of the staff. We have cameras. And if you come near me... This guy punched me. Your employee. Get out. AT&T get out. is a $40 billion... Dollar, right it's now. a $40 billion dollar company. You get know what it's going to cost bar. AT&T? Get out of our store. He's already thinking about suing. It's a big cash grab. Ma'am, I would sit... I'm yes, please leave. I'm just going to call... No. He, uh, yeah, he's all up in the employees' faces. That's why they're telling you. Right now it's self-defense. It's like what happened no, to you. Nothing happened. This oh, there is no self-defense. You walk away. It doesn't matter. No, you walk no, away. no you we don't. don't have a hey, right to man. beat somebody yeah. up. First man, of all, state of California. No, We're not. First of all, it does not seem like this guy was beaten up, right? This is in Florida where you can shoot somebody. Seriously. You guys escalated a problem. You're a $40 billion company, and I'm going to retire on you. We really don't care what you have to say. Obviously, you don't care what your customers say. No, no, no just not you. a belligerent, dumb person like you. A d- yeah. belligerent, dumb yeah. person. Yeah. Come on, yeah. walk out the store. Yeah. Yeah. Look how you're acting. Over a phone. You, you Over sold a phone. me something and you guaranteed something for 14 product. days. Come on. Come on. I need something it bought right through right. AT&T. Yeah, that's not our problem. Still, it's still an of Apple course product. it's your problem. No, it's not our problem. I don't pay Apple Anyways, pennies for it. These are great employees, by the way. It's not our problem. We are the service provider. There's a big difference. That is their product. It was bought from you. doesn't matter. You're then why do you say that for 14 service. days you'll take it back? You're not providing the service. If you look at the receipt, it says all Apple products have to go to a- to Apple within the first 14 days, no matter what. That's Anything not that is what not the salesperson told me. Well, said just step away. Yeah. Just step just away. Let, let him be. Just, just, just let him be. Medic, let him talk to himself. No, I haven't threatened anybody, and you're lying. Step, step away. Why from do you manage? keep getting in my face? Because you're, you're getting in a woman. I'm you know, it's interesting. He's like, why do you keep getting in my face? But he's the one that's getting up, running towards the employees. <laughs> he's living in a different fucking world, right? I don't think he knows this is being filmed. I haven't threatened anybody, and you're lying. Step, step away from Why do you manager? keep getting in my face? Because, because you're getting, getting in a woman. I'm not threatening a woman. She's in the her one face. that got in my you're face. In her face. You that just look how woman. close you are I'm to me. Standing right you here. walked over to me. To you walked over to me to protect him from who? You, a 50 year old guy with a heart condition. Hey, hey, that's going to come into play here in a second. Do <laughs> you have heart failure? failure? Who has anger issues? Seriously, I'm telling. Terrib- if you have heart failure, calm the fuck. Down. Walk away. Don't get all worked up. Is you have heart failure? I think he's more interested in this big payout from AT and T. Who has anger issues? I'm terrified you because I can have another. Up. Stop everyone. touching me! You you Keep your, your hands off of me! No no one one to work work. Stop attacking me! No. Sir, Move away from my mind. Going. This is all leading up to something. He's like, I'm terrified. I mean, he's not acting like he's terrified. He's very confrontational. I'm terrified I might have a heart episode, right? Like, he's mentioned that a few times. Stop attacking me! No. Sir, Move away from I'm my mind. No one's right. touching him, by the way. By the way, you're, you're walking right up. I haven't gone anywhere near her. You're you you her. guys have all come out here. Yeah. Oh, oh, he just collapsed. He he started clutching his heart. You're not going anywhere near her. You are going near her. You're walking right up. I haven't gone anywhere near her. You're you you her. guys have all come out here. Yeah. Oh. Oh. He's calling an ambulance right now. Nobody's going to call an ambulance. We already have the police no, coming. the police are actually coming right now. I want an ambulance. Yeah, you got a phone in your hand. I want an ambulance. You have a phone in your hand. You can call. I'm sorry. Well, this, the AT&T employees, like, know what's up. I have a feeling they've interacted with him before. The, your phone doesn't He's work. Inside it's defective. Right That's now. why we're here. Then, like anyone who's just had a massive heart attack, he starts crawling, right? He's on his belly. It's like he's in Vietnam or something. Is the address here in your store? One, two, five, he's like one, one, scooting. One, one, now he's up on all five, fours. One, one. Could why not just lay there? Where is he going? I have somebody that just collapsed. The wife is on the phone with 911. Now he's saying he's having a heart attack. He's heart they, no, no. Talk about how he's crawling on the floor. We the police, but we need, need an ambulance. Like towards the exit. <laughs> he wants to leave. Oh, thank you. Shit got a little too real for him. No. But he's committed to the act, kind of. He's more worried about the money, right? Like someone who's, who's in the middle of a heart attack, right? Like a massive heart that made him collapse it. And crawl on the floor. You really think they're going to argue about money right now? The short guy. Oh, have you heard the short guy your pushing body? me. Yeah, that's fine. And you know what? Yeah, that's fine. 18 doesn't matter. Your company than I am. 
I'm a thousand dollars poorer. Yeah. Yes. He's still arguing, even in his weakened state. The ambulance does come, and uh, they take him away. That's where the video ends, and unfortunately, I have no closure for you. There hasn't been a news story about this or anything. We'll see how much AT&T will have to pay out for causing this man to have a heart attack. Uh, And with that, let's get into the crazy, bizarre twist of the fucked up news right now. Who's interested in marionette puppet ejaculation? Show of hands. If you are, you should really sign up for the Sideshow, DV's member site, where you get full access to the entire archive of programs. Well over 3,000 shows at this point. Been doing the show since December 2004. Every week we do exclusive shows as well. Yesterday I posted a Sideshow exclusive program. Tomorrow another one. You can only hear them if you sign up for the Sideshow. Memberships are very inexpensive, only $6.99 a month. Even less when you opt for a quarterly, semi-annual, yearly, or lifetime membership. Back to the marionette puppet ejaculation. Today I posted an exclusive Sideshow video. It's uh, quite an eyeful. I'm talking about demonic s and puppets, masturbating a monk who's also a puppet. Uh, Yeah, there's a lot going on. It has to do with Japanese mythology. It's art, guys. Come on. Get a little culture in your life. Sign up for the Sideshow. Superfreaksideshow.com. Okay, three very quick stories, then we'll get the hell out of here. First up. Well, it's official. There will now be a period emoji. Not like punctuation. Like menstruation emoji. A gushing pussy blood icon. Women, why you gotta be so nasty? I mean, menstruation is natural, but why you gotta go texting about it? Not only texting, but like showing you graphically what's happening. I don't think that's necessary. Where's my boner emoji? Unicode just released its 2019 emoji list, and the update includes 230 new texting symbols, including a pinching finger gesture that people on Twitter are saying represents a small penis. So we're not only getting a gross period emoji, we're also getting something to indicate how small our dicks are. Great. Yes, uh, also a drop of blood that the internet culture is using to represent menstruation. Announced Tuesday by the Unicode Consortium, a group that helps make open standards to allow people to use computers around the world, the new emoji group will hit phones later this year. The pinching finger emoji will come in different skin tones. Look at that. Oh, I'm looking at some of these new emojis. There's like a bionic arm, you know, for people that have missing limbs. Wheelchair emojis, boring. Waffles for Leslie Nope. Uh, We've got a sloth emoji. Onions. Some sort of, is that a uterus? Oh, that's like a shoe with laces. (laughs) I thought it was a uterus. One of those stupid ballerina shoes or something. Uh, skin tone support was added to the Unicode, uh, Unicode standard in 2015, and an increased representation of women in 2016 became gender inclusive in 2017 and added new hair colors in 2018. You would have thought that, that would have been the most important thing, right? Uh, the very detailed drop of blood emoji comes after a campaign led by Plan International UK. They saw more than 55,000 people calling for a period emoji. 55,000 people is not that many people to be added to the global emoji keyboard. I don't think the Unicode people give a shit. They're like, whatever, sure, add it. The charity hopes that the emoji will help to break uh, break down the stigma surrounding periods. It's not a stigma. It's just, you know, we, who wants to see blood of any kind? And it's weird, because, you know, you're fucking down there, and it's weird to see blood in panties. Doesn't really mix with sex, right? So, yeah, you know, I think guys are okay with periods. We just don't want it thrown in our face. I want to see a big throbbing hemorrhoid um, emoji. Just like a just like a cluster of them hanging out of a, a cartoon asshole. You might say, why? Why, Tim? Why would you want to see that? Well... Over 10 million people a year go to the doctor for hemorrhoids, and over 50% of people over the age of 50 have hemorrhoids, so I think we need representation. 
Art of Winters. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Winters. Art of Writers. No, Art of Winters. God damn it. Uh, tweeted, the real question is why not? Period blood is the best emoji ever. Really the best emoji ever. Okay. This marks the sixth major emoji update since 2014, taking the total number of emojis up to 3,053. Soon we're not going to need to use words at all. Young kids today actually will will text without saying anything. They can just, you know, post a series of emojis and that's it. If we can get to the point where we can find emojis for prepositions and adjectives, I think we've really, you know, we've created a new language, basically. Yeah, we're regressing to fucking hieroglyphics. Sounds about right for us as a species. The update also adds more than a dozen emoji that represents members of the deaf and blind communities and people with disabilities. The characters, which were proposed last year, is there like just a hardcore retard emoji? Because that could be a lot of fun with like a helmet on and like all like curled up fingers held up to their chest. <laughs> Now that's an emoji I would use. All right, the characters which were proposed last year by Apple include people in manual and mechanized wheelchairs, prosthetic limbs, and service dogs. How about a Down syndrome emoji? It would look just like a human emoji, <laughs> except the face, you know, would have a, a larger forehead, I guess. All right, uh, where are we at here? To come up with the proposed emojis... Apple collaborated with such organizations as American Council of the Blind, the Cerebral Palsy Foundation, oh, we're getting closer to what I want, and the National Association of the Deaf. So be on the lookout for new emojis coming soon. Second story we have for you today. Man, the UK has the best television shows. E4, I guess that's a network over there. Uh, E4's show The Sex Clinic has horrified viewers after a man has admitted that he hasn't cleaned his manhood in 24 years. Yeah, yesterday on the show, it was a Sideshow exclusive program, we played audio from a woman who uh, like hasn't bathed in half a year. This is way worse. Uh, people shared their disgust on Twitter after patient Zach entered the clinic complaining of a nasty smell coming from his penis. Like, if there was a smell from coming from your cock, wouldn't the first thing you do be to wash it thoroughly? You know, add some fragrance. Pleasant stuff. Lavender, I don't know. All right, so, uh, yes, he was complaining of a nasty smell. He spoke to Dr. Naomi about his penis problem and said he's been having issues retracting his foreskin. Hmm, let's add this all up here. Smelly dick can't retract his foreskin. I think we're going to diagnose him with dick cheese, right? Uh, yes, he's having pain and irritation at the tip of his dick as well. He then revealed the pain had been bothering him for about nine months. And he told her that he previously had the clap and caught gonorrhea, too. If you never wash your penis after catching chlamydia, that would be like the first thing you would do, right? That would be my first effort to try to fix the situation. Maybe it's just dirty down there. Hey, guess what? <laughs> I've got some audio from that episode. Let's take a listen. Hey, me, Zach's come in today. He's been having some problems retracting his foreskin. Okay. Having a little bit of pain and irritation at the tip. Um, so I thought it might be worth you having a little look. Yeah, he's obviously embarrassed already. How yeah. long has that been going on for? Uh, been the past between six and nine months. Okay, quite a long time then. Let's have a look at it then. All right, so... The doctor needs to take a look at what's going on. So she has to retract his foreskin, right? Which is uh, a bit of a Don't problem for this guy. Sorry. It's all right. Is, does it hurt to pull back? It doesn't hurt, but it's just like, it's unfamiliar. Ooh. Okay. Sorry. It's all right. Okay. Do you, would you feel more comfortable if you pulled it back? Yeah, I'll give it. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't ever pull it that far back. Okay. So this... You know who uh, I want to interview? The woman who had sex with him, who gave him the clap. Because if he hasn't uh, bathed in 24 years or, like, scrubbed his foreskin or whatever, the smell must have been there. And she's just like, okay, it's okay. Put it in anyway. This stuff underneath is called smegma. There it is. How do you normally wash down there? I just 
Just scrub it, Steve. Yeah, yeah, just scrub it. Yeah. Why isn't his face pixelated? Why haven't they changed his voice? Why is he okay with being on TV? Pop Lyle with a shaft. You pull your full skin back and you wash your knees. I don't. No. Oh. No? Because it's obviously really sensitive. Mm -hmm. So to then get a flannel. It's sensitive because you never pull it back. Or on some soap. Oh my god. And just, you know. You know who doesn't have this problem? People who are circumcised. <laughs> And if you take nothing away today, just this. Just wash your penis, darling, okay? okay. All right, Zach. All right. Oh, how embarrassing. Like, that's, th that's what the doctor has prescribed. <laughs> Washing your penis. <laughs> All right. Uh, where are we at here? So we, I, I'm, the news article mentions a lot of what was said here. People online were appalled by his confession. As one put it, where on earth do they find these people to go on the sex clinic? If you can't wash your own bits, then you're just looking for trouble. Yeah, no doubt. Another said, is anyone else watching the sex clinic? I'm genuinely shocked at how little these people know about sexual health. Here's some fun stats for you. <laughs> like the kind of stats uh, Pornhub provides. Not quite as fun. Uh, the latest figures reveal an STI is diagnosed every four minutes in England. The largest proportion of people is within the ages of 16 to 24 with dating apps like Tinder being blamed for the rise. So there you go. Final story we have for you today. It's a short one from Mobile, Alabama. A man charged with molesting a horse in 2018 faces new charges after being arrested on burglary charges Monday. Here's the thing, though. He was also in possession of a large rubber sex toy and a taser, among other items. What? was he planning? Daniel James Bennett, 19, was reported to have been knocking on the doors of homes on Matlock Road uh, in Irvington and is accused of attempting to climb through the window of at least one residence. This is what happens when you don't let a horse fucker fuck horses. Now he's going door to door looking for humans to rape. Let the man have sex with horses then. If it's that, if it's that big of a deal. To him, you know what I mean? Let him have his fun. He's gonna go tase women and shove dongs up them and st and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. The homeowner in question screamed when Bennett attempted to climb through the window holding the big dildo. And Janie, I wonder if he bought it at AdamandEve.com. Coupon code freak. I'm not advocating for you know sex perverts, rapists to use my coupon code, but you know a rapist is gonna rape, and they might as well get a good price. I guess I am advocating for them to use coupon code freak. Please don't tell anyone that you're using my coupon code for that, though. Just don't rape anyone. How about that? Maybe that's where I should have started that statement. All right. In January 2018, he was charged with attempting to molest a horse, uh, a charge that he admitted to investigators at the time. The owner of the horse, a 20-year-old mare named Polly, told investigators she suspected the horse's stall had been tampered with several times. Bennett was later charged with possession of burglary tools, sexual misconduct, and second-degree criminal trespassing. The official warrant for Bennett's arrest lists the crime of bestiality as a misdemeanor, really? Alleging that Bennett engaged in or submitted to any sexual contact with an animal, to wit, a horse. Court records did not indicate whether Bennett was convicted of the charge, though. During this more recent incident, several neighbors said that, as well as knocking on doors, he was seen going in and out of several yards. Based on a description given by witnesses, Bennett was found riding his bicycle in the area and was arrested. Deputies later removed a taser, ting, a pair of hair styling scissors, a pack, a pack of razor blades, and a large rubber sex toy, with a tube attached to it. I hate when these news stories end and we've got more questions than answers. Bennett was charged with attempted burglary and a probation violation. There you go. That, my friends, is your distorted news for Wednesday. Let's do a couple voicemails and get the hell out of here. Love to hear from you freaks. Many ways to contact the show. Show at distortedview.com. That's my email address. Voicemail line for you. 206-666-4463. Uh, we've got a subreddit if you want to submit articles and stuff over there. Distortedview.reddit.com. Got a Discord. Uh, there's a link on uh, distortedview.com. Main navigation bar there. And, of course, I'm all over social media. All right. Let's check in with a few freaks. First up, uh, I think we've got a bunch of uh, patron calls here. My man, my main buddy, Timmy Boo, 
Uh, this message is actually a little bit for uh, another patron. Uh, this is Human Garbage checking in about the spanking issue. Hmm. Uh, frankly, I don't think there is enough spanking or shaming going on in the world today. Otherwise, we wouldn't have the fuck-tarded shit going on that we do. Yeah. But, I think the world could use a little more shaming. <laughs> uh, to answer the question that was put out there about some kind of, like, anime-inspired JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, like, fuckboy paddle that had a heart what? carved in it you got spanked with. Like, A, I'm calling bullshit. Oh. I doubt this ever was a thing. Because that is the most fucked up fundamentalist kind of logic. I, I just don't think it's real. But yes, I went to a private school and I got spanked on several occasions for just being a normal boy. Like paddled? I remember spanked? one time my boy and I... Paddle, because paddling, now, I don't know about the heart thing on the paddle. But I, I, I know paddling was a thing I, in schools. Uh, let's call him Sly. Sly and I were uh, laughing at the fact that my zipper broke. <laughs> and I had to use a combination of scotch tape and staples because you're in sixth grade and like you're clever, but not that clever. So right. you don't know how retarded Idiot. you are. And uh, we're, we're, this is around I December. I my pants with tape. Uh, you know, timely little thing where we're, you know, uh, practicing going into the chapel, uh, you know, Episcopalian chapel with the girls on the other side. Oh. Meanwhile, my boy and I were just fucking laughing at the fact that I have, like, scotch tape and staples on my crotch to hold my fly together. Uh, I got spanked the fuck out of the world for that. He did, too. I don't he understand why you got spanked for that. He didn't deserve it. But they did have... Then what are you supposed to do? Your zipper was fucking broken. Holes drilled in that paddle. Not some faggy ass heart. They had holes in that shit. And when you got popped by that, buddy, man, it was yeah. a zinger. Because at first, it was like it was like a positive buzz that builds for like a good open mic night for a comedian. Nothing at first, and then all of a sudden, you feel the buzz and you feel the tingle, and you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know if I can contain this anymore. So yeah. Uh, I got popped a couple you like times in private school. I actually did get popped once in the early 80s in public school. Mm -hmm. That was mm -hmm. a thing. I actually remember my parents filling out a corporal punishment form oh, like a in public form? school that said... We give you, we have the right to beat the fuck out of your child yes. during the hours of 9 to 3. Please smack tiny human garbage in the ass <laughs> with a large yeah. piece of wood if he acts the fuck up. Look. Nowadays, like, parents are always on, like, the child side. Like, kids can do no wrong. It really is. Like, the pendulum has swung too far the other way. Hey there, Tim. Hi, baby. It's flattery. Yeah. I just wanted to say, it really turns me on thinking about you. Oh, no. Mm, getting out your tools. No. <laughs> Not the going bidet to the bathroom thing. And installing the bidet. Everyone mm, two things to wants me, me to install. Why? Anything. What do you think's going to happen? I I'm going to report back to you like, oh, yeah, water shot up my asshole. And then mm, the toolboxes. <laughs> mm, the idea okay. of you kneeling down in front of your toilet mm, and installing up a day and then using it. It's driving me crazy. Can you do that for me? Oh. She has some sick sexual fantasies. Um, oh, freak daddy. I'm just so excited. Mm. All right. I, yes, I will work on that. Jimmy Boo, Sideshow member DJC and Patreon member DJC. Just calling to uh, let you know I have... Uh, Doing well, doing very well. So I've upped my Patreon to twenty whole dollars a month. Wow, that is very generous of you. Thank you so much. Uh, I am working on a video for patrons and a couple other updates. Twenty dollars. Well. Someone sa someone got mad at me saying, "Hey, you know the sideshow uh, should be getting these videos, but the the, the sideshow gets like the distorted view." Content, you know, stuff that I, you know, stuff that I feature here on the show. The patron stuff is more about me. It's not necessarily show related. I would uh, ask the rest of the freaks, please. People that want to support the show that way. Patreon.com slash distorted view. You get access to a special voicemail line and contribute help to me, boo. He needs to live. Dude, I have a question for you. 
how many hits or downloads do you get per show? I don't know. You know, it's funny because uh, I was looking at I use a, a, a stat service, but they something is, is fishy with them. Uh, like for the past like two or three days, it hasn't um, updated. So I can't get a good idea. I think I'm going to cancel that and just use like my internal like web stats, uh, which is a much higher number anyway. Uh, I don't have the number off the top of my head. I don't really like to look at them too often because it's too depressing when the numbers go down. And then like when the numbers go up, I'm happy for like a second. And then I just get depressed again because I'm like, well, it's only it's going to go down from here. <laughs> like there's no pleasing me ever regarding this stuff. But yeah. Uh, we're doing okay. We're all right. Uh, that is all the time we have on this edition of the show. Want you guys to email me? Show at distortedview.com. Distortedview.com is our official website. Voicemail line for you 206 666 4463. That's 206 660. God is in. You have two fresh, quivering pussies ripe for the fucking. Spread the distortion. STD. Tell all your friends about the podcast. Don't forget to rate us and review us on iTunes. Remember, tomorrow's show will be Sideshow exclusive. Sign up now. You can uh, watch today's video and yesterday's Sideshow exclusive program and tomorrow's show as well. Otherwise, I will see you back on Friday to end the week. Until then, have a great day. Bye, everybody. And while I'm on the subject, let me say something about Harry Potter. Warlocks are enemies of God. And I don't care what kind of hero they are, they're an enemy of God. And had it been in the Old Testament, Harry Potter would have been put to death. <laughs>